Hi, uh, this is Grant with Beat the Market Analyzer. Today I'm going to show you how to use the qualitative analysis checklist. So this is after you've already analyzed stocks and you've found a good stock or a good company at a bargain price. And then you want to go to check more about the stock to make sure that it's a good buy for you. So then you'll click on the qualitative analysis checklist. I already started working on one here. You enter the name of the company, so I enter Signet Jewelers that I'm looking at now, and you'll just go through each of these steps, and it'll help you to figure out exactly if you should buy this stock at this time, if it's a good match for you. Uh, you'll just click the yes, no, or I don't know, and you need to click each one to complete it for the next part to be highlighted so that you can continue onward. Uh, there's a save button here, so you can save as you move along, and it follows you along the page. You can write optional notes here as well. And if you go down, uh, you can see that there are notes that are given for you so that you can understand uh, what the section is talking about. Further down, uh, you might see some question marks. You just click on them, and this will tell you more information. So, example... Uh, durable competitive advantage and this tells you what a durable competitive advantage is. Just click back on it to get it off the screen. And then some people might wonder where do you find this information? So some of the information you might not know and if you want to find it the best way that I found is to use the annual report. Uh, so here I've downloaded Signet Jewelers Annual Report. You can also use the 10-K uh, to get the annual report of the 10-K. You could just do a Google search. And you want to get the most recent annual report. And usually you'll find it here under the actual company name, their website, and then they have an investors uh, relation page. So you can also type that in, Signet Jewelers Investor Relations. Or I'm just going to click on this uh, website link. So here each company usually has some investor section. And Here's the 10K, or also known as the annual report. You can just click on that and download it. And what you want to do is, I'll give you an example here, how to find information. So going back, I left off at number 8. So it asks, avoid companies with strong labor unions. Labor unions can be a good thing for workers, but they can be a very bad, they can be very bad for investors because the demands and strikes of labor forces can have a quick and negative impact on shareholders' equity. Are you certain that Signet Jewelers doesn't have a strong labor union? So I don't know if they have a strong labor union. So what I want to do is go back to that annual report, and I basically... Just do a control F, and then you could see here I just type in labor. Uh, you could type in labor, labor union, um, labor rela regulations, and it'll help you to see. So then I, I just keep going through here until I see some section that tells me about any labor unions. So going back to our qualitative analysis section. Uh, you could just keep doing that and answering the questions and use your annual report to keep searching for information that you need to complete this. And you can also use other websites, uh, Yahoo, you can find information about the company, uh, Guru Focus, find information. There are also some articles that you can find information but you want to be careful about these articles that you find because they're, they're just written by people giving their opinions a lot of times. So try to focus as much as you can just on the facts and statistics of the company and not really on the opinions. 
the opinions can help you to just get an overall feel for the company. Um, but like I said, don't base your decisions much on those opinions because that's, that's all they are really opinions. Uh, this also helps you to find scandals and things like that. There's also a section in the qualitative analysis part that asks you about any lawsuits or negative things, why you shouldn't buy the company. Again, try to focus on the facts. Uh, here are also some comparisons between one of Signet uh, Jewelers, uh, Brands K Jewelers versus Reed Jewelers. Again, you can't really depend on the, uh, the accuracy of these websites. So just take them with a grain of salt. Here's a K Jewelers versus Walmart, same thing. And then looking at the actual site itself and their products and comparing prices. So you could do this as much, get into much as much detail as you want with this analysis. And it's for you to figure out whether you should invest in this company. So you want to be as thorough as possible. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. And uh, this qualitative analysis will really help you once you complete everything. It'll tell you if this is a company, if you should actually decide to buy it, if it's the right company for you to buy. All right, thank you for your time and have a good day. You can contact me anytime with questions about this at grant at beatthemarketanalyzer.com.